Okay, welcome everybody to final map pool show match between Gina Lucari and Amazing. I believe we can't be uh, lobby chat. I guess we can do without chat. Okay, we're starting the, with the first map, it's Sola Fits You, and the title is Primal Map by Luminate. And stats for this map is uh, 5.39 survey things. Uh, I guess rest you can, I think you can, you can see from the start, so let's talk about the map a bit. It's I believe consistency peak. It's, I believe the highest star rating map, not counting tiebreaker. Yeah, but you can make me a bit louder, I guess. Uh, let's try it now. It's better, guys. I'm loud enough. Yeah, it seems better. It's... Amazing still holding double S while Jinkai find uh, the drop. I guess a few drops. Uh, Data, can you make Nyam? Um, can you give Nyam caster roll so he can join me? Okay. Can you find another drop? Why well, am I amazing. still holding double S? Okay, Miami yeah, can try now. Uh, 
Hello guys, Caster Zone. Hello Miam, welcome to uh, Caster Slavery. We are on Nomad first. Amazing just dropped his double S. He's still holding uh, FC on this map. This map is just about consistency. Not the uh, hard, I guess. It's very long though, if you ask me. Over 4 minutes, it's uh, very long. It's a average for a consistency peak. But it looks pretty comfy for uh, all the sun. Definitely a good consistency check. And we are done with the Nomad 1. It's been at the end to decide, divide the scores if both players FC or something. And some players are for sure capable of uh, have F FC on this map. And the next map gonna be... Okay, let's wait a bit, no, no spoiler. Okay, next map is Hyun v Yuri and song name is Disorder. This is set by Verti, but uh, difficulty is um, made by Rusty. Rusty is quite a tech mapper, so I assume it's gonna be tricky here. It's like the spread over those on, on this set, but could be a bit of tech. With another spinner. Compared to previous map, this one has uh, a bit higher BPM and uh, stream. Uh, Way more streamy. Yeah, it looks like the tech peak, uh, I mean, technical peak. Streams are really uh, not farmable, like they are not common. Yeah, and Jim will find a miss. Get some spikes, but they shouldn't be uh, really hard. And this map is a lot of short. A uh, lot shorter than previous, only 2 minutes and seconds. Also has a break in the middle and now the slow part, there really isn't much space to miss on. Or build up combo as well. And yet we have another spinner. Okay, the scores are pretty close to each other. But I can expect people to miss on more than Nomad 1. There's a lot of play with flow and anti flow. That is true, but most of map looks pretty comfy. And I guess Amazing just have another FC. He just really FC the first map.
And quick spoiler for next map, it's gonna be a Crowley map. Crowley map doesn't say much because he's both standard and uh, CTP player. Uh, mapper, I mean. Yeah, that's gonna be first um, specific uh, for normal, and I guess it's last specific. Mm, let me check real quick. Yeah, that's gonna be Lovejoy the Fall by Crowley. And it's uh, yeah, it's last uh, specific. Uh, from Nomad Pool. So leave those sink estates and let's book a holiday. We're painting all the counties. So far there's plenty of uh, music choice. This one is a rock English rock one. Uh, and it's going to be quite low approach rate for Nomad Pool. Only eight point four with high uh, circus size of 5 and I believe yeah. it's gonna be uh, lowest in terms of BPM on this 132 It's lower a bit tricky no mod pick It's going to be a bit uh, longer than previous map, roughly uh, below three minutes. Yeah, I guess amazing gets stuck in bunches, so we gonna wait for him to reconnect. The map started. Starting some sliders, nothing too crazy. Because it's gonna slowly build up into harder sections. Now it gets a lot of some more space. Um, but the first half is pretty comfy to play. Now we 
getting like, more complicated uh, jumps with double hypers. And amazing, we'll find first maze on the pool. Okay, map going to be pretty rough. Precise movement in the Ki section. A few jumps to finish the map off. Map isn't too hard, but I guess players might be tripped out by the lower BPM, uh, high snap uh, jumps, which aren't very popular in ranked section. So the AR it might be a bit confusing and CS5 is also making it even more precise. Yeah, exactly. And that's it for no mod uh, specifics. We now will get to the first uh, convert. And no mod 4 will have I believe highest BPM of 230.
so I expect it to be very tricky. Yeah, and it's it only has 155 BPM, but it looks way more than the previous high BPM map. Those streams are very spaced, like those dashes, and uh, yeah, it's very miserable. And the one free section is pretty hard. We were very weird snapping sometimes. Probably very good pick for a convert enjoyers. That slider was tricky to catch all the droplets. Yeah, it might be a factor if everyone <laughs> FCs somehow this one, or maybe just has the same misses. The last section was pretty edgy, so I don't expect much uh, full combos. I mean, many. Yeah, that was a very rough map, and also a short one. Now that's the last no mod pick. Uh, the difficulty name is pretty interesting, I must say. Yeah, I'm not going to try to read it. I would expect that though from Waffer. <laughs> Waffer, yeah. And we will have another low, approach very high, high secret size map. This map has a star rating of 4.76. That thing pretty calm, but the show match players already find some misses. Uh, these patterns right now are very spaced, pretty hard to read on that lower approach rate. Yeah, that's definitely a reading map. There are big uh, breaks between uh, specific uh, hard patterns, but that doesn't change anything because those patterns are really tricky. Uh, it mostly depends who can hold more combo on this. Some patterns even just seem to be lucky. to catch. Yeah, that's true. But if you can feel on this approach right, uh, you surely will get better scores. Nevertheless, very cool map and quite interesting song. Uh, both players couldn't hit even 200 combo on this. Um, 
it shows that uh, map is very hard to build combo on. I think we didn't mention it, but uh, there were a lot of long sliders and uh, you have to be careful with the droplets. A bit of accuracy map. Yeah, maybe we, when combos uh, players will have low combos on this map, so maybe accuracy will uh, matter on that. And now we get gems over this um, first hidden map. I believe it's consistency hidden map. Um, uh, approach rate 9, 9.4. Consistency, but since it's gems, I expect it to not be that uh, generic in map style. Also, a song that was used before, I think. Uh, I remember playing Platter with DT. Yeah, I believe it's quite popular set. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this song, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, and BPM 145 might be a bit interesting. Nothing too crazy on intro, but uh, this one for patterns might be tricky. I don't know if got the jumps. That's some higher density burst. I would say this is like consistency B, but with technical patterns. I would say it's like uh, the BPM is very specific for the style it's mapped. Yeah, that's true. In, in standard, you would call it an alternate map. I'm not sure if uh, that's a proper uh, definition for the CTB map. Yeah, probably it's not because you can start right here. Yeah. I mean, some people are actually alternating in catch, but it's on really specific high BPM maps. And it's not popular placed at all. Oh, I was about to say Amazing has a very good performance here, but then he misses. Yeah, the commentator cares. I didn't even say that out loud, it was just in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It always works. This map has a comfy approach rate, but some patterns are pretty technical on this. Now we actually will be going with this year's CWC map, Q stop map, but uh, from uh, WWW. But on CWC it was picked for a double time, and now we will have this as a second uh, specific lower approach rate. And I guess we're waiting to get it picked.
yeah, we get the wave typer from Frums. A very unique uh, song, and the map is also uh, a bit specific. The AR is a bit lower than the previous one. Same with uh, the reading map hidden. We already can see Jin struggling a bit. Uh, I guess we can expect this map to have pretty solid ban rate here on the matches. It does not look hard, but It's still the reading map, so player might be uh, might have troubles with reading the specific map on uh, approach rate 8.5. I think what makes it hard is that the movement is a bit repetitive due to the song being, uh, yeah, like I said, unique. Yeah, but I believe that, that this map is even hard to learn to read. Yeah, that's another factor that makes it really hard. Definitely, uh, non-hidden players will ban it. Yeah, but this isn't the lowest approach rate map from Hidden Pool, so they will have to choose if they want to be on approach rate 8.5 or approach rate uh, below that. It's not always about the approach rate, sometimes the map is just really hard. Yeah, that's true. Dame Jin is struggling to get even 90% accuracy. Yeah, even 50 players struggle on this map. Uh, this was last uh, hidden specific, now we will have two hidden converts. Used by Senjin, in case I'm not sure if I uh, pronounce it correctly. I have seen this song ranked a lot, but not this cover. That's interesting. I'm pretty sure. The same song, but maybe from other artists, was used in some tournament on double time. So we can uh, see some tricky patterns to read. Hidden.
Funky Survive to be low pain, it's a, it's pretty comfortable range. And the rating for this one is 4.95, so it's you can say that it's harder in terms of star rating than few converts picked from Nomad. But I guess it's more comfortable to read. Get some higher density streams over there, but nothing too crazy on this map. Some more precise streams. Some of these bulls are most uh, difficulty patterns of this map. Yeah, those one fours are very spaced. I mean, streams if someone doesn't know mapping uh, dictionary. Yeah, I, I usually cover them first because they are pretty short. short to streams but I guess left right might be working didn't, out well didn't expect that uh, spinner in the end I thought like the song ends pretty quickly but I guess that uh, gives us some uh, additional score to divide the scores if both players FC somehow but I think the map pool is hard enough that there will appear some misses yeah, that's for sure. But maybe a uh, spin to win map. And we get the last hidden map that's gonna be approach rate 8, uh, circle size 5, and it's going to be the first Toho map of the pool. Are we going to see more of uh, Toho songs in the pool? I hope so. But you, but you tell me that, <laughs> yeah. I don't know anything about that. Hmm. And the rating for this one is only three point six. But I guess it's just a reading map. Also, I thought it's an old map because the mapper is uh, a very old player and also uh, the approach rate, the style probably is kinda old. But actually it was ranked uh, a year ago. Uh, it, it was probably told from streams that they are not looking that old shape. Uh, the map was submitted in 2014. This is the fun fact. Oh. So I guess it was polished a bit more to fit the new uh, mapping. Map doesn't look like anything too crazy, it's just mostly the reading part of the lower approach rate. There are not a lot of hypers, but the dashes, uh, I guess, are a bit hard. You can see Ginikari missing. Some of this higher snap patches uh, might be tricky to, uh, to read.
and these doubles look like pretty easy to miss on, I guess. Oh, I pick it. Oh, that ending doubles. Top dash uh, pattern there. Pretty hard to read, I guess. Hard to time as well. Like, it didn't look that hard, but uh, timing that with this AR might be tricky. For me, it looks comfy to play, but I guess players might have some troubles with hitting this, especially when nervous. Yeah, the stress, it's the, the end of the map, it can kill you. Also, and descending pattern, both of the players missed there. Yeah, amazing will not provide the full combo on this. And we are done with Hidden Pool. And I believe we're gonna have the first Houston map coming in. And I will try to find that for this map. Get the stats when we uh, have this map chosen. I guess we will have the late hard drop pull a bit.
Okay, so we are back after uh, fixing the technical issues. Should we go with uh, a custom mark from Sekre? Uh, uh, English rock song. Just a bit like a uh, consistency map. Looking at the length, uh, three and a half minutes. Uh, the rating for this map is 5.28. After a hard work is updated. We just had a AR8 hidden peak and now AR10 hard work makes me think it looks very fast. Yeah, that's true. Looks like pretty comfy consistency pick so far. Yeah, looking at those patterns, it seems quite uh, easy. Not too uh, quirky. Some birds before the uh, sky. Nothing too hard. I don't think we saw much of hard rock patterns here. I guess it might might uh, be just made to have no hard work patterns just to be a uh, reading map of the pro strike mostly uh, and there come the stream patterns The map is really interesting with these birds before the KIs and that squeaks uh, guitar uh, solo I guess streams. Why on the KIs it's only consistency. I'm not sure if I missed anything, but I think there wasn't any uh, spinner, or maybe? Mm, I didn't notice the spinner, to be honest. But let me check real quick to guess on how this map. Uh, it should have two spinners, so I didn't pay attention to this. Uh, first was in the start of the map. And the, the second spinner was before last K time.
And for Hard Rock 2, we will get this, I guess it's stream map. It's one of most recent gems to rank it maps. From a new featured artist in Osu. Very, quite very popular artists for read game for read gamers. Yeah, definitely a popular one. There might be even a certain meme that uh, was created in the game with this song, uh, with this artist. I mean, one of his songs. Oh, I see. You see <laughs> it. <laughs> Yeah, I see you. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't intentional. Okay, this one will have some hundred patterns, but I guess nothing too crazy. Yeah, I guess that's the main difference between between these two. Uh, it this one has uh, a lower circle size, although there are some. Uh, Hard rock a uh, random patterns. Yes, and it's quite more dense. Yeah, definitely. The properly and jumps on this are more comfy to read as this is uh, higher BPM. But the streams is where your players will meet the most and uh, harder patterns, I guess. There isn't much uh, slow patterns. Yeah, camp section isn't the hardest part of the map, I'm surprised. <laughs> Those harder patterns could be annoying on the sliders. I mean, between sliders. And long, long spinner to finish the map off, but I guess. Pin to win between these two players. <laughs> ah, actually, we, we will see the spin battle, but I guess it's the last spin battle we will see on this map. And for Hard Rock Free, we will have another higher BPM song. And start writing for this one is uh, 4.87. That's the long version of the song and the convert. It'll be quite similar to the previous one because it's gonna have this, some high density streams with some higher patterns. So oh, this slow part was really not exciting. I thought there would be more uh, random jumps. Yeah, you would expect in standard, right? Oh, in the beginning we had a lot of uh, streamy patterns. And now we are in the Kiai section, and those uh, patterns are really, really uh, low density. 
that's interesting. A bit of sliders with maybe uh, accuracy control. Like it seems like easy to miss them. This part, is, uh, this part will have more hard uh, patterns with some hard rock one. Yeah, those streamy uh, patterns, whenever they happen, there's something you should be aware of. I didn't know the genie is hard to repair by the way. Another map when he's doing a bit better than uh, amazing. Oh, those jumps before break seemed uh, pretty tough. Yeah, a bit. Okay, it's calm section, but nothing to scary on this. I like this map being balanced between jumps and streams. This map is a uh, very good uh, skill check for hard rock. Especially that it's a bit long. It's just roughly about three minutes. And last hard rock will be a bit shorter on the uh, only two minutes ten seconds. But that's gonna be higher circle size, right? Yes, that circle size is almost six point uh, five point nine. And it's also featured artists. Another hard rock map I picked. I remember the beginning is very slow. Like uh, it has a very long build up intro. Yeah, and I would expect most players to ban this map as it has a lot of precise patterns. Okay, this is circle size 5.9, so almost 6, so it's pretty hard. I guess harder players should be confirmed this and some of older players could potentially read pretty comfy as well. Oh, it's really wiggly here. And that's a very short pick, so... You definitely don't wanna miss every single second. <laughs> Quite a similar to picks we see on international tournament. Yeah, also doing this uh, high circuit size uh, picks, but uh, this is way more comfy than this piece on international, of course. Yeah, 
Yeah, I believe uh, players who play Hardwind like Eden might have some trouble with the reading on this uh, particular map. And the last string section... It's quite easy, but you need to like, catch this terror pattern. It's Say it's really... easier and now there comes some <laughs> uh, jumps and uh, wiggles. Yeah, the, the bigger is uh, probably the hardest of this part, but not, not too crazy, I would say. I wouldn't expect pe uh, people to stand still those wiggles here, uh, because it's a uh, very high CS and uh, you can miss those very easily. Yeah. I didn't try to stand still while testing this map. Yeah, I always wiggle things. And uh, that's it for harder pool. Now we are going to the DT pool. And I guess you can do your thing, yeah. Oh, yet another map from Sakura. I think this one is ranked though. Am I right? Mm, not sure about it, but I will check this region real quick. It's ranked, right. I mean, you are right. Pretty long map. I mean, with DT, it's a three minute map. Shouldn't be too long. Wait, let me check the Arjuna approach right on this. Oh, I can see this. Oh, he's approach right 8.4. That's not the fastest approach right in the pool. Yeah, continue. Uh, sorry, I forgot what I wanted to say. Uh, I guess a bit of a consistency map because the patterns don't seem too uh, complex, at least to read. You need to have a good uh, platter control though. There's a lot of. Uh, a bit weekly patterns. It kind of seems like it's plotter plus, or maybe yeah. you must say easy rain. But it seems if you can read it, it's pretty comfy. But. Now, as I said, that amazing will find a drop. Engine seems quite unprepared for this one, so he quite struggled to hold combo. Expect this map to have a, like a lot of miscounts there. It's what you could expect from a uh, final school.
And that's it for the DT1. I wonder what is double thing too. I expect it to be uh, a Toho song. Oh, we love the Toho songs. And here it is, my custom map. Uh, a little bit lower AR rate, uh, because the uh, map is not that simple to read. The patterning is complex. Uh, and also, it is longer than the DT1, which is uh, also uncommon. Usually the first uh, map, the first specific on the mod pool is a uh, consistency one. Oh, that's true. No, the double time one is the consist consistency, but your map, I guess it's quite more technical, I would say. It's technical and it's longer, but yeah. uh, it's because there are a lot of uh, slower parts. So I guess that's forgiven. Okay, so I guess that's a map when you have to keep a combo for as long as you can. Build up the combos on the slower parts and hold as much on hard ones. look quite interesting because we have low uh, approach rate and also pretty low uh, circle size I mean the freeze are bigger on usually on most of maps uh, with low approach rate yeah I must say I experimented a bit And usually that uh, combination makes the map looks a bit faster than it actually is. Good that you mentioned it because uh, both of the songs are pretty much similar BPM. The first one was I think 130, this one is 126. Uh, well, the first one was 87 BPM without double time. So, 131 with double time applied, applied. And this is almost 200 with double time. And we actually can see a lot of this specific patterns, would I say. Also, I heard uh, an opinion from uh, test players that it's a bit of an accuracy map, and as you can see, there are some long sliders already. The patterns were really easy, it was just walks. But further, there will be more. I, mean, I wouldn't say this accuracy map because uh, droplets are probably doesn't uh, worth as much because this is very 
long map, so... The very Double tricky one. Oh yeah, I see these tricky patterns. Oh, those are rough to read. Get the counter to build up the combo back. The hard spot of the map coming now. Oh, yeah, it's really hard to read. Uh, I saw one player very. Uh, complaining on the previous custom maps and, and map pool feedback, so I wonder uh, what Xerox opinion will be on this particular map. Yeah, Xerox is still in the journey, so. Uh... I'm willing to read his opinion on this one. Actually, he just uh, won the uh, semi-finals winners bracket, so it's gonna be still in winners bracket for this for the finals. So I guess he have guaranteed grand finals. So like top four, I guess. I think the rest of the map is quite simple now. Yeah, it looks like. I mean, this, there's some gems you could potentially miss on, but I would not expect this to happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <Good> <laughs> okay. I mean, I wouldn't expect to happen in a match, but Jin will find the misses of this section. <laughs> Easy, nice, nice custom map from you. Huh? Thank you. And amazing, only three missed it. Pretty nice. And that's it for double time specifics. Now we will get to the converse. Starting with double time free. Actually, I don't know much of this map. Do we have any description? Consistency convert. Okay. So let's say it's consistency convert. Looks like a consistency one. Some tricky patterns there. Cut, cut, uh, gene upwards. Bit. And most of 
the map looks pretty comfy, but there's a few patterns that might be really easy to miss. higher space, uh, I mean higher snap uh, patterns might be very tricky. Yeah, and this con connections with the sliders make this pretty rough towards the end. Final drop his full combo. Coming to the end of the map with all six combo under. For double time three, we are getting to see double time four, which is the highest approach rate of the pool. A bit higher than uh, double time first. It's gonna be approach rate ten with double time. So actually, it's same as hard rate. But this is the test who is probably harder to read with extra speed on your catcher. Often charges are pretty repetitive, so it's making this map pretty easy to read. Uh, but it's easy uh, as well to struggle on if you can't keep the consistency on. As well, this is shortest for, for double time pool, only 2 minutes after the double time is uplit. I really like this DT map. Actually, it's the first uh, whole map. We like to see these two maps. AR 8.5? Yeah, exactly. It's high as a first trade double time. Yeah, I really enjoyed playing this one.
And that's it for double time pool. And only last map left, and this is tiebreaker. Uh, CLSW difficulty. I think it's a quite old map. Yeah, not so old, but for most of players, it's pretty old. It's submitted in 2016. Uh, 17. 16 and ranked so is 17. Yeah. Oh, it, it was actually ranked on my birthday. Nice. I don't know if that's nice because of the lolicon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the map is nice. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't really play it, so I can't say. What we get the PC five years ago. <laughs> and I guess it was picked uh, for tiebreaker. Some other tournaments, I guess, for the. Yeah. Higher ranked players and in other rounds. It's mostly consistency map with uh, some more technical patterns, I would say, in the KI case. Maybe not technical, but higher high snap. Also seems like typical uh, Chris, Chris, crystal uh, jumping up. In. Yeah. Since this is a pretty old mapper, I assume many people can recognize the style and eventually be confused with it. I just noticed that it's a uh, 5.5 uh, star rating and this is only finals. Uh, I remember when I was mapping two years ago a tiebreaker for grand finals of 4 digit tournament. It, the difficulty was only 4.6 even if it was underrated a bit. So you can see that players pro progressed in that uh, four digit range during these two years. The player base is growing. Yeah, we'd like to see that. Maybe you can see a six star in the next pool. Um, I hope not for a breaker. But uh, for be would be interesting though. <laughs> I mean, it would be nice to have like skill check map for let's say normal, but uh, tiebreaker. I mean, it sh should be more like average star rating of the pool. I wouldn't Not... expect the, any other map than tiebreaker to be lower star rate, though. Uh, it's what I mean. It's I don't like scenario when the tiebreaker is. Uh, hard map in terms of row skill. Of course, it's longer and it should be uh, harder. Uh, but not so hard that you know better skill player just wins uh, when it's going to be tiebreaker. If you know what I mean. Whoever has better skill is supposed to win anyways. <laughs> yeah, but I'm talking about that uh, It shouldn't be favoriz favorizing anyone. Yeah, that's true. And this one seems to do a good job on that.
don't say Jin will win tiebreaker versus Amazing. Uh, these parts are pretty annoying to play with the uh, sliders, snappings, and anti close. But it's good to have uh, various uh, like play styles on, I mean mapping styles on the tiebreaker it has different skills and amazing field secure that uh, tiebreaker and that's gonna be it for finals map pool showcase thank you Mian, for uh, casting with me it was the pressure it was it was nice <laughs> i didn't do that in a while but yeah it was nice far fun a pretty it's... solid pool yeah pool is looking decent lots of good maps there was a lot of uh music variety i think but yeah the pool is hard i must say yeah, I'm also sure. a three digit, and I think there are some maps that I would miss on. Yep, yeah, especially on the hard rock. Especially my own map. <laughs> oh, that's true as well. So, thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching, and good luck in the finals week. And I guess that's it from us, and we will be ending the stream shortly. So, see you guys next uh, weekend. I mean, this weekend. <laughs>